Hello and welcome to Sharp Smoker Electronic Cigarettes. In this video I want to go over uh, priming your tank atomizers and getting it ready for the first time use. So basically when you get your atomizers, this happens to be a, a mega tank atomizer for the uh, Evolution X or the T-Rex or the Ego, it fits all three. <clears throat> um, but when you first get these tank atomizers, oftentimes they're kind of dry uh, just so that when it's shipping, you know, fluid doesn't leak out of it and get all over the packaging and make everything dirty. Um, so oftentimes when you get these, they're relatively dry. So what you'll do is if you if you just take this and fill up a cartridge and stick it on your battery and try to start puffing away, what you're going to find is oftentimes you'll probably get uh, you know, a good puff or two of vapor and then it'll kind of diminish off pretty quickly. It's very easy to remedy this problem. Uh, it's actually not even a problem. Uh, what you could do alternately is you could just fill up one of your cartridges here stick it on the atomizer and let it sit for about uh, maybe five to ten minutes or you can do this quick little trick to uh, prime the atomizer as I call it but basically if you look down inside the atomizer here <clears throat> you'll see in the center there you've got the the metal probe that sticks into the cartridge and then on the edges you've got two small little slits I'll try to show this to you a little bit closer um, you have got one little slit right over here along this edge and then another slit right over here along this edge. Basically what these slits are for is if any fluid leaks out of the cartridge, um, it'll seep through those slits and down into the atomizing chamber uh, so that the e-liquid can get soaked up and atomized. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of those little slits. Basically when you first get your atomizer, take a bottle of e-liquid and what we're going to do is kind of drip a couple of drips of e-liquid down into the atomizer so that it falls right onto those slits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four drops of e-liquid on each slit. So one, two, three, four. Then if you watch it for a second, you'll see that it pretty much immediately gets soaked up. Spin it around. One, two, three, four. I know you can't quite see what I'm doing here, but uh, you get the idea. Just drip it kind of along the edge so that it goes down towards the, uh, this, the little slit there. And then what I'll do is I'll just try to drip one little drop directly onto the center probe there. All right, so basically what we did is we just uh, filled up that atomizer with a good amount of e-liquid. Of course, while you're doing this, make sure not to get the e-liquid on your hands as it does contain nicotine, and it can be absorbed into your skin. Uh, so either wear a pair of gloves or just be real careful not to get it on your fingertips or your hands. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is take one of our cartridges, and uh, we'll fill it up with some e-liquid if you haven't already done that. So all we'll do is pop off the top, grab your e-liquid, I'm just going to put a little bit in this one. But basically you can fill it up to about uh, about an eighth of an inch to the top. You want to leave a little bit of a gap so that when you put the cap back on, it doesn't cause the e-liquid to kind of ooze out all over the place. So make sure you leave yourself a little air pocket there. Basically what we'll do is we'll just snap the cap back on. There we go. The next thing, we're just going to take our uh, cartridge and stick it onto the atomizer. Now one thing you're going to want to do is, once you put it in there, Make sure you press it down nice and tight. <clears throat> now oftentimes, well I shouldn't say oftentimes, sometimes what will happen is when you press this cartridge on there, these uh, cartridges have a thin membrane here in the center that is supposed to be punctured by that little metal probe. Um, I stick a little paper clip. This one got punctured. Like I said, you know, most of the time it usually gets punctured, but occasionally what you'll do is you'll stick the cartridge on, but that membrane might be a little bit thicker uh, than normal, and it'll cause it to, in, instead of pop, It'll cause it to kind of stretch around the probe. Um, so basically what you want to do is if you start getting uh, no vapor, make sure that that hole there on the cartridge is pierced. And you can do that just by simply taking a paper clip and uh, sticking it through the little hole in there in the center. If you hear a little popping noise, you'll know that it was not popped and uh, you just popped it. So then what you can do is just stick it back on there. And so now what we do, we've got the uh, cartridge with some e-liquid on it. We've got our atomizer, which has been primed with some e-liquid. The only thing left is to stick it onto a battery and uh, start vaping away. Um, so that's that's the the easy way to get your atomizer, your tank atomizers, ready for use when you first get them out of the starter kit. Um, you can also do the same thing with the standard cartridges. Uh, it's a little bit easier. You just drip uh, about maybe five six drops directly onto the metal bridge of the atomizer. Um, but that's how you do it for the tank atomizer. If you have any further questions, feel free to email me, kevin at sharpsmoker.com. Thank you very much for watching this video, and have a good day.